All right, Bobcats, I want to talk to you about what it takes to make a good green screen. Um, so there are three things that are really, 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 really important for you to get a good, clear green screen um, video. OK, so we're going to run through those real quick and then I'm going to show you how to make this work. First thing you need is consistent color. Now we say green screen and I have a nice green background right now, but it doesn't necessarily have to be green. What you want is you want something that is going to contrast well with your color and what you're wearing. Now, green is pretty obvious because nobody really has green skin that we know of. And another color that you see a lot is blue. OK, if you do like off white or red or or something like that, tan, then you're going to run into some problems with your skin or your hair or whatever. So green or blue are pretty good. You don't need to have fancy schmancy anything. You have seen my classroom. You know I have a green wall that I use, but you don't need to have a green wall. You can have a green sheet. You can have a poster. You can have something just as consistent color. OK, so that's one thing. Two is excellent lighting. Now, you have all seen when you walk past my room or come in my room, you've seen that I have studio lights and those work awesome. I, but the most important thing is that you have very good lighting. Um, it took me a little bit of trying to find a good spot in my room, in my house. Um, but I have some natural light and I brought over a lamp and it worked. Okay. So excellent lighting. And, um, and then the last thing is a high quality camera. And I'm sorry to say, but your Chromebook might not have the best camera uh, available, right? And I actually shot the footage that you're going to see in a little bit with my phone. Um, and you're going to see, because I'm going to show you a picture in just a little bit, you're going to see where I actually have my phone on a fancy tripod. And you might be like, Mr. Don, I don't have options with that. That's fine. Phone, iPad, Fire, whatever you have, the best quality camera you can get. Right. And if you don't have a tripod for it, that's OK. Prop it up with books. Get your mom or your dad or your big brother to hold it steady. Right. We're not doing anything here that's going to go to Hollywood. So, you know, it's OK if yours isn't as as nice as mine. All right. So those are the three things you need. You need the camera, you need the lights and you need the color. All right. So now let me get out of this. All right, here we are on WeVideo.com, and first things first, I imported this footage right here um, from my phone. And what I had to do is I had to take my charging cord, plug it into my phone, and plug it into my Chromebook, and then I was able to load it directly in. Um, once it, and it takes a while because it's, it's a big thing, um, but once it's in, I'm actually going to drag it into Video 2. All right. Oh, my eyes are closed. How beautiful. Now I'm going to, I don't know, I'm just going to get some random pictures. I'm going to get a that. I'm going to, um, oh, Kisty. And um, man, I got a lot of videos on here from these NTI days. Um, oh, a bald eagle. All right. And now. I am going to come up here and I'm going to double click on this video. I'm going to click here where this dude is, the silhouette. Click on the eyedropper. And now on the background. And it disappears. So you can see as we watch this little segment here. Um, you just need a solid color that is going to contrast with anything that, that you're wearing or what you look like. So green's a pretty natural color because nobody really has green in their skin tone except maybe the Grinch, right? Um, another color that works really well is blue. So now you can see how that works. Obviously, I blink a lot. I just realized that watching that. Second of all, um, I'm going to want to make sure that this entire thing, all of video one, is full of images in the background and it should make sense with what uh, what you're talking about so when you make your video 
you are going to talk about something that makes perfect sense. Maybe about what you're doing at NTI days, maybe about what you miss about school, maybe your favorite food. And what I'm seeing in the background behind you will not be random pictures like I picked, but they will be pictures of what you're talking about. So it go, all goes along, right? And then, of course, when you're all done, you're going to hit the finish button. And, oh, don't forget, you can add music. You can put the Bobcat in there, all these sorts of things. I'm going to put this video together completely, and I'm going to share that as well. So when I'm all done my video, it's going to be the how-to video, and it's also going to be the finished product of what you see there. All right. Thanks a lot, Bobcats, and I will catch you later.